Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review the newest version of the Mediasonic Homeworks Digital Converter Box and DVR. In the past, I reviewed older models made by various companies. All of them were virtually the same digital converter box with their share of glitches. This upgraded model claims several improvements, including better recording stability, tuner sensitivity, and AM-PM feature instead of the standard military time. Do we finally have a simple, stable, and affordable DVR that doesn't require an internet connection? Or will it be more of just the same? If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. If you decide to purchase this unit, be sure to use one of my affiliate links in the pinned comment below or in the description of the video to help support my YouTube channel. So there are actually multiple ways you can use this DTV box. The main purpose most of you are probably interested in is the DVR function. However, it can also be used as a standalone TV tuner for an old CRT TV, projector, or a new TV with bad tuner sensitivity. In addition, it also has a signal meter feature that's very helpful to locate the best spot for an antenna. I'll demonstrate this feature a bit later in the video. My first impression of this converter box is much better than others I reviewed in the past. I noticed that the remote has been significantly improved. Specifically, the buttons on it are a lot easier to press and the converter box is a lot more responsive to them compared to previous models. I will say that some of the buttons are oddly placed. For example, here are the record, play, fast forward, and rewind buttons. Thankfully, it doesn't take too long to memorize the location of each of them. I noticed that there are more ways to connect this box to a TV compared to previous versions. It has the same coax, RCA, and HDMI outputs but there are some additional RCA connections that I'm not too familiar with. Some of you may be. It would be best to connect this to your TV with an HDMI cable, so that way you keep the HD picture quality on all of your local channels. For some reason, it doesn't come with an HDMI cable, but you can easily purchase a separate one on Amazon, and frankly, most of you probably have extra ones laying around anyway. The tuner sensitivity on this converter box is comparable to previous models. It's very good and may help you bring in weaker channels that older TV sets may struggle to bring in. As I mentioned in a previous video of mine, some TVs made by Sony, Dynex, Insignia, Toshiba, and RCA may struggle to pick up weaker TV stations compared to a more sensitive tuner like the one built into this converter box. Speaking of gaining weak channels, this unit has a signal mirror that comes up if you press the info button on the remote twice. This is very helpful to locate the best spot for an antenna instead of putting it in a random spot and kind of hoping for the best. This DTV box also has a manual search feature that can help you add a TV station that doesn't show up on a regular channel scan. Let's say you have your antenna set up and you notice your local NBC channel is not on the list. Instead of moving the antenna around, running a bunch of channel scans and hoping for the best, what you can do is go to the menu and scroll down to manual search. This lets you add TV stations based on the RF channel. I looked up the RF channel of my local NBC affiliate and I know it's channel 11. So I can set the RF channel to channel 11 and then move the antenna around until you start to see dots on the screen. This may take a little bit, especially if you're using an indoor antenna, but there you go. You see those dots come up? That means that there's a signal being locked in now. You press okay and what it'll do is it will actually add the TV station instead of you running a bunch of channel scans and hoping for the best. And then if you press the info button twice, it'll bring up the signal meter and you can use it as a guide to try different locations for the antenna. And you can see here clearly that moving an antenna as little as a few feet or even a few inches can have a huge impact on reception. And using the signal meter on this DTV box is really gonna set you up for success instead of just moving the antenna around and hoping for the best. You can find the RF channels of the TV stations in your area by running a reception report on rabbitears.info under signal search and looking at the RF channel in parentheses. 
I notice that this unit still has a glitch that previous versions had. If a channel drops out enough due to a low signal, the audio sometimes gets out of sync like you see here. Of the World Cup after a controversial image posted to social media. This issue is easily fixed simply by rebooting the converter box. Most of you shouldn't have issues with dropouts on your channels as long as you have a good antenna setup. If you don't think your antenna setup is good, definitely consider signing up for my antenna recommendation service on my website. Now I'll get to the DVR portion of this DTV box. You will need to connect a USB hard drive in order to use it. Some have said you can use a USB 3.0 flash drive, but I found they aren't always fast enough to record the large file sizes of an HD video file. I would highly recommend using a USB hard drive instead. You can find links to some recommended models in the description of the video. Before using the DVR feature, you will need to format the hard drive. Go to the menu, scroll over to USB, select PVR configure, and then format. Once the hard drive is formatted, you're ready to start recording programs. You can manually record a channel you're watching by pressing the record button on the remote. While recording, you can time shift, pause, fast forward, or rewind. If you press the info button while recording, you'll find some cool details of the recording taking place, including the file size, bit rate, and approximate recording time left on the hard drive. You can schedule recordings by pressing the EPG button on the remote. It'll bring up a channel guide from each channel, and from there, you can go through and select what programs you want to record. You have the option to either record the program once, weekly, or every day. You can manage your scheduled recordings by pressing the timer button on the remote. Unfortunately, I noticed that running a channel scan on this converter box erases all scheduled recordings, so be aware of this. Most of you should not need to keep running channel scans as long as you have a good antenna setup. Besides the channel scan glitch, I found this schedule recording feature to be very reliable. For about a week, I scheduled different recordings on different TV channels. Even with the unit turned off, it automatically turned on to record the channels at the appropriate times. While recording something, you can watch a sub-channel of the same TV station. For example, I was watching 16.1 and I'm able to watch 16.2 at the same time, but nothing else unless it broadcasts on the same RF channel. However, I did find a very easy workaround. If you go to the menu and change the modulation to loop through, it will pass signals from the antenna to the coax output on the converter box. If you connect the output of the converter box with a short coax cable, you'll be able to watch a different channel even while the converter box is recording one. You'll just need to switch inputs on the TV. You can access your recordings by pressing the USB button on the remote and selecting PVR. The recordings are listed by channel, date, and time. Overall, this DTV box and DVR works very well. It runs much smoother than previous models and the DVR function is actually stable and reliable. Just don't run a channel scan if you have a bunch of scheduled recordings or they'll disappear. As I said earlier in this video, there are actually multiple uses for this DTV box. You can use it as a DVR, an external tuner, or as a signal meter. The signal meter feature is worth the price of this unit alone. This is one of the only DVRs on the market that does not require an internet connection. It connects directly to your TV, records onto a hard drive, and plays back the recordings just like a VCR. It would make a perfect first time DVR for anyone on a budget. If you decide to purchase this unit, make sure to follow my pin comp below or in the description of the video to help support my YouTube channel. If you get a message like this on Amazon that the unit can't be shipped to your address because of some weird state regulation, I also include a link to it on eBay. Keep in mind that while this converter box works well as a DVR, it does have its limitations. If you're fine with recording one channel at a time, you'll probably like it. If you want to record multiple shows on different channels at the same time, I would recommend ordering the Tableau or TiVo DVR instead. I include links to some models in the description of the video. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. 
Additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or as a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining explicit perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I include some links in the description. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.